I think we have entered a realm with Kickstarter where there's other businesses that are trying to use a similar model. And so some of the creators are trying different avenues. Um, so some of the dispersal of attention is happening. Some people are going to those different platforms. So, um, so when you, you say, sorry to interrupt, do you mean like places like Indiegogo, Zoop, Crowdfunder? Yeah, absolutely. Indie, things like that? Yeah, because people are trying to see what the next big thing is. They want to be that inside person um, to utilize this new exciting platform because people are thinking that if it strikes a different chord, there's probably going to be a different monetary um, reward from that. Um, for me, I think we are in kind of like a breathing situation where we just got done being cooped up for from like COVID and everything like that, where all of our entertainment was centralized and now people are going back out and doing things. So I think there's a little bit of an exhale and um, there was a little bit of an oversaturation because all these other creators that were also pinned at home were busy creating books. Mm -hmm. And so you're seeing kind of the fruition of a lot of that where um, so many people are launching their books at the same time. Maybe it's not that they're a worse book, but that there's so many good books at the same time. I know that's been difficult for myself and that could possibly lead itself to um, saying why some of these good books aren't funding as much as they did in the past. Um, and I know for me, it's because of the, the breathing pattern of this business going up and down the way it has, I don't necessarily think Kickstarter is going anywhere, um, but it has caused me to spend more time in a uh, pregame, so to speak. So I, rather than like, say for Belial, where what I did was I created like a bunch of memes and just introduced the idea of warming up to it. This time, um, I actually spent a lot of time on other platforms and stuff like Reddit and TikTok and Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, just to generate that pre-awareness as this is coming. So be excited. So during like maybe somebody else's campaign, if I can hold their attention for mine, uh, on that launch, just trying to do the prep work to build that excitement instead of just being able to launch it like I was, like, say, uh, last year with like a Belial 2 or something where you could just drop it and run because people were starving for that at home entertainment. Now people are getting to do other things.